Welcome to the enchanting world of Coral Haven, an underwater town where the Halloween festival is in full swing. The town pulses with electric energy, a vibrant tapestry woven from the laughter of children and the haunting melodies of the sea. Bioluminescent decorations shimmer like stars fallen into the ocean, casting an ethereal glow upon the coral booths where townsfolk busily prepare for the evening's rituals. Join us as we dive into this captivating chapter, where secrets of the past and spirits of the sea intertwine in a tale of courage and reconciliation. Lila stood at the edge of the festival grounds, her heart racing with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The bioluminescent decorations shimmered around her, casting an ethereal glow upon the coral booths where townsfolk busily prepared for the evening's rituals. Yet, beneath the surface of this joyous celebration, a tension simmered, palpable and thick, as the townspeople whispered of the spirits that haunted their history. Lila's bright blue eyes scanned the crowd, searching for her friends, Finn and Coral. Together, they had uncovered the town's secrets, but now they faced the ultimate test, a confrontation with Captain Waverly, the vengeful spirit who guarded the past with a fierce tenacity. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the water, Lila felt the weight of her role as a leader settle upon her shoulders. She had embraced her heritage, the stories of her grandmother echoing in her mind, urging her to honor the spirits rather than fear them. We must show them that we remember, Lila whispered to herself, determination igniting within her. Finn approached, his green eyes reflecting the flickering lights around them. Are we really going to do this? he asked, his voice barely above a whisper. Lila nodded, her heart pounding. We have to confront him, Finn. It's the only way to bring peace to our town. Coral joined them, her turquoise eyes sparkling with defiance. If we don't stand up to him, the festival will always be a lie. We can't let fear dictate our history. Her words resonated with Lila, who felt a surge of courage. Together, they would face Captain Waverly, not as children afraid of the dark, but as guardians of their town's legacy. As the festival reached its climax, the children gathered at the center of the grounds, where the shimmering jellyfish floated like spirits in the water. The townsfolk, divided between tradition and truth, watched with bated breath. Lila stepped forward, her voice steady as she called out to the spirit. Captain Waverly. We honor your story, but we must know the truth.